for the Tishbite, and he went to the king and uh, declared that there would be rain and so on and so forth. And of course, nothing happened. You remember the story? And then he went here with his servant, servant to the top of Mount Carmel. Where are we right now? Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel. Am I telling this right? Do you want to come and take over? And the fire of God fell here. So I'm going to let Aaron. Come on over, Aaron. I'm not. You're the guide, so you come on in and earn your money now. Come on over here. <laughs> but I just want to remember First Kings, chapter 17 and 18, deals with this. And uh, of course, Elijah is the man who stands as a symbol for the Old Testament prophetic order. And uh, you remember that uh, he then, after the rain had fallen, what happened then? Well, it, it, the rain so quickly caused uh, mud and, and everything in the ground was all muddy. And so uh, they had to ru ra run before the rain was going to cause this change in the environment. And he ran, I think, how many miles does the Bible say? Was it about 30 kilometers? I forget off the top of my head. Roughly 30 kilometers. He ran ahead of the horses of Ahab. So that is quite the runner. He didn't have a lot of fat on his bones, or there was a supernatural charge in his legs, and he ran all the way. I believe it was to Jezreel, wasn't it? That's right. See, I haven't even checked up the story, but it's all stored in there. And he ran under the power of God. But remember, he saw a cloud like a man's hand, and he said, go back again, and he went the seventh time, and the heaven was dark with the clouds and wind, and that all happened here. And so our Catholic friends built a monastery right here where it happened. And uh, supposedly it says that actually traditionally Elijah lived in a cave within a hundred meters of this place. So whoever finds it, let the rest of us know. <laughs> Aaron, tell us some more. Well, I, uh, I will just relate to the uh, geographical uh, background uh, because after what Peter just said, there's nothing I can add. <laughs> if you look backward, you can see three chimneys. Can you see them? The three chimneys. Now that's where you were in the morning. That was the first station for all of us. Oh, the electric generator. Where it says the UMIT was in the morning, the ancient Roman city. Okay, that's where we began our day. Uh, and then we drove to the uh, Jezreel Valley, which is right underneath you. Okay, right underneath you. Uh, and I shall say that. Draw that into that direction of, pardon me, that direction of the valley past the forest, that was our second station. You can see there is a road that goes uh, near the forest of Menashe. Okay, that's a beautiful name. That was the site of Megiddo, Armageddon. Okay? okay, right in that direction. Okay, now we're going to proceed from here. Uh, towards Upper Galilee. Now the land of Galilee is right across the valley, past the valley of Israel, underneath us. That would be the uh, land of Galilee. That's where we're heading now. We're heading towards the Sea of Galilee, which we have to see from here. But it's right beyond those hills. We have some driving to do. Now, generally speaking, that would be the east.